بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ نمستے سچ سری کال ہیلو ٹو آل دا اسٹوڈینٹس ہو واچ مائی ویڈیوز ان ویریس کنٹریز آف دا ورلڈ اسپیشلی ان پاکستان انڈیا بنگلہ دیش نیپال سری لنکا کویت سعودی عربیہ یو اے ای امیرکا کینیڈا افریقہ اینڈ ویر ایور یو واچ مائی ویڈیوز اے گریٹ ہیلو فرام اسد یعقوب Uh, now we are going to go on we have already started a test it's a general training reading test and we are solving it all this time we are on questions 8 to 14 section number 1 and the type of questions is your favorite type of questions and this is called true false not given now Many of you often ask me this question that uh, what is the difference between false and not given and many of you find it extremely difficult to decide between false and not given. They think it is false it becomes not given and they think it's not given it becomes false and all that. So we solve this test and I'm going to tell you what's the difference between true false not given and all that. So let's go to the book now and we start the test. Okay, now here we've got a passage about paragliding in Australia. From the title you can understand they are going to talk about paragliding. Then what is paragliding? Is it safe? Where do I learn? What do I need? Who can do it? So from here you can understand which question will have the answer where. But let me tell you. Uh, all the questions and answers they are going to be in the same order so that's why you don't need to worry about anything the type of questions we have here is true false not given so all the questions and the answers they are going to be in the same order that's why we're going to start with the first one a paraglider is more comfortable than a parachute in true false not given there is always a comparative sentence or a comparative structure a paraglider is more comfortable now I told you before whenever there is true false not given you should divide it into true false or not given for example if a paraglider is more comfortable than a parachute then it is true if a parachute is more comfortable than a paraglider then it is false and if they don't tell us anything which one is more comfortable then it is not given so we are going to see where there is the link of paraglider and parachute a uh, paraglider the whole passage is about paraglider that's why it's a good idea to scan the word parachute because there we will be able to find the uh, what do you, what do you say the information about paraglider so let's just go back here they they say uh, paragliding is a kind of this and that i'm looking for a word parachute attached and they report there uh, yes here i found the word parachute Now I need to read this sentence. It is starting from here. The harness is where the pilots sit and they report that it, it means actually paraglider. It outperforms, it means a paraglider outperforms a parachute in terms of comfort. Now what happens? A paraglider outperforms, outperforms means to be better in performance. A parachute in terms of comfort. Now what's the statement? A paraglider is more comfortable than a parachute? Yes. So the answer is true. You can write true like this or you can write T or you can write true like this as well. So there's no problem. Next question number nine. Most paragliding schools are situated by the sea. Now most paragliding schools, the first thing is most and then by the sea. Again, the same technique. If most paragliding schools are situated by the sea, then it is true. If most paragliding schools are situated inland, then it can be false. And if they don't tell us where are they situated, then it is not given. So we, we got to see most paragliding schools. I mean, first you need to look for school, paragliding school, institute, coaching center, and all that. Or they can use the word school and whether they are situated by the sea or not. Now, we are done with this. Let's just scan quickly like sailing and deep sea diving. Paragliding is safe and do school, school, paragliding. If you do, no, 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 it's not here. Where do I learn? There are lots of schools. See that? We reached here. 
there are a lot of lots of schools now it's understood that these are the schools of paragliding so we found the word schools here now what is next mainly based in lands there are lots of lots of and there they used most of mainly based in land in land means on the ground not by the sea by appropriate hills or mountains okay and then they say and there are also schools on the coast there are schools on the coast near spectacular cliffs but they are saying there are lots of schools mainly based in land now let's see what is our question the question is most paragliding schools are situated by the sea they are not by the sea if you look there are lots of schools mainly based in land so this question number nine is going to be false you can write false you can write f and you can also write like this okay now let's go on number 10 learners must pass a theory test in order to get their license so three things learners must pass a theory test in order to get their license now same technique if learners must pass a theory test in order to get their license then it is true if learners don't need to pass a theory test to get their license then it is false and if they do not mention anything about theory test then it is going to be not given so there is always one thing if that thing is not there your sentence or your statement becomes not given and you got to find that one now first we need to scan the word license because license must be there right then the theory test we need to see if it is given or not given because of this it can be false or not given learners must pass a theory test in order to get their license let's read ahead I need to look for the word license I found it here by the way you know I'm very good at scanning okay now I need to read it from here right because before that they didn't say anything about that it takes about seven days to get your basic license then you are free to fly independently at sites across Australia now see in this sentence from here to here they have not mentioned anything about the theory test they simply say it takes about seven days to get your basic license then you are free to fly independently at sites across Australia now what's the statement the statement is learners are able to paraglide no learners must pass a theory test theory test is not mentioned that's why it's going to be not given you can write like this or you can write capital N G not given or you can write small not given always it is going to be right next question number 11 learners are able to paraglide unaccompanied most important thing here now learners are able to paraglide how unaccompanied after a week's course now if after a week's course learners are uh, able to paraglide unaccompanied then it is true if they need someone to be with them then it is false and if they don't tell anything about unaccompanied then it is going to be not given so again I tell you in every sentence there is a word that makes it not given so here this is the word if this is not mentioned it can be not given learners are able to paraglide unaccompanied after a week's course now let's come back here and we see where are they talking about it all right uh, it takes about seven days to get your basic license then you are free to fly independently now see independently and unaccompanied right they are actually the same words independently at sites across Australia now what is that learners are able to paraglide unaccompanied unaccompanied and independently after a week's course so they offer this week's course and after that you can do that at sites across Australia so the answer to question number 11 is going to be true you can write T R U E true or you can write T or you can write like this okay is it okay now let's go on it is advisable to purchase some equipment okay this is the first part of the sentence before you do your training now this statement is going to be the same 
there will not be any change it is advisable to purchase some equipment now the thing that might change is before right if it is advisable to purchase some equipment before you do your training it's true if it is after you do your training then this is false and if they don't tell us before or after then it is not given so in every sentence there is a there is a word or a phrase we call it the heart of the sentence in true false not given now because of this one word only if they don't tell anything about before after it's not given if they say it before then it is true if they say it after in the passage then it is false this is how you have to read all the statements so it is advisable to purchase some equipment before you do your training let's just see what do i need what do i need means equipment it means you will find the answer here pilots normally wear warm clothes in case they get very high up and a helmet in case they stumble on landing in terms of gear schools supply basic training canopies harnesses etc but we need to just see however you'll probably want to buy yes here is the sentence however you will probably want to buy your own more sophisticated equipment until here we are clear that they are saying you want to buy which you will be able to choose much better once you have tried some out on your course now they are saying you should do it after you should not do it before they say uh, you will be able to choose much better once you've tried some out on your course try some equipment on your course after that you need to buy that okay so again i read however you will probably want to buy your own more sophisticated equipment which you will be able to choose much better once you've tried some out on your course let's see what's the statement the statement is it is advisable to purchase some equipment here they are saying before but there they are saying after that's why number 12 is false right and then you say ielts reading is very easy with asad yakub okay why it is easy because i just explain i tell you the right direction i give you the right information let's go on fit people of any age two things fit people any age group fit people of any age can now any age means whatever the age is can take up paragliding so if fit fit people of any age can take up paragliding if it is exactly fit people any age it's true if there is any problem with the people or age then it is false and if they don't tell us about the type of people or if they don't mention any age group then it is going to be not given okay now let's try the clue word is fit people any age we got to just see if there is any mention of age group uh there is no upper age limit yeah now some of you will misunderstand they will say there is no upper age limit see actually they are not saying there is no age limit they are only saying there is no upper age limit provided your instructor deems you capable capable means fit right your instructor deems you capable but the youngest anybody can paraglide is 14 see no upper age limit and the youngest anybody can paraglide is 14 now let's go back the question says fit people okay that's right of any age now it's not any age they have mentioned it's 14 14 does not mean any age that's why because there they say any age and there they say 14 so it's actually conflicting if you just take a look over here it says if the statement contradicts the information if the statement contradicts the information if there is no information now this statement any age contradicts the information 14 years that's why number 13 is going to be false f false or you can write like this okay anyways you can write now let's go on we've got the last question the preliminary uphill walk all right there is a walk uphill walk may strain some of your muscles now preliminary uphill walk may strain some of your muscles now again if preliminary uphill walk may strain some of your muscles it's true if it does not strain your muscles then it's false and if they don't tell us anything about the strain of muscle about uphill walk then it is not given 
So let's see whether it is true, false or not given. We'll have to see uphill walk. Okay, good balance is potential. Paraglides very relaxed sport and you are mostly sitting down. You will probably experience pain in some muscles. Okay, be alert. The answer is here. You will probably experience pain in some muscles. You didn't know you had whilst learning. But many of those will be due to the walk up the training hill to launch. Uphill walk and walk up the training hill to launch. So from here to here, we've got the answer. They say you will probably experience pain in some muscles. You didn't know you had whilst learning, but many of so that's why I advise you to read all the sentence. Sometimes, you know what we do? We read half part and then we decide it's true or it's false, whereas it is not given. But anyways, here you'll probably experience pain in some muscles. You didn't know you had whilst learning, but many of those will be. Many of those is actually linked with actually pain. But many of those will be due to. So you'll probably experience pain in some muscles. Pain in muscles. Now those is referring to pain in muscles. Will be due to the walk up the training hill to launch. What's the statement? The preliminary uphill walk may strain. For pain they are using the word strain. Some of your muscles. This is true or this true or this true or this true okay Th or this is all right there is no problem with that so that's it welcome back once again okay now you understand true false not given in real sense huh okay don't worry i'll make more videos on true false not given as well so this is how you have to solve the test in your actual ielts exam if you like this video, hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, you can contact me for that. Asad Yaku wishes you all the best and all the best with your IELTS preparation and all the best with your IELTS result. Take good care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.